all web hosts are not created equal, and this web host in particular, uh, along with GoDaddy and uh, SiteGround um, and HostGator, are particularly bad at several things, uh, security and speed. That's not two things to be bad about. Uh, you should not be bad at those two things if you're a web hosting company. Um, and while DreamHost has pretty decent, you know, I'd say, well, I'd say C plus on customer service. Um, like GoDaddy and, and SiteGround, um, and oh my gosh, Green Geeks, don't even get me started on them. Um, anything that's going wrong with your site because of something their hosting is doing is your fault. And they're going to want you to do something to fix it on your end because your site is asking too much of their servers. And that's ridiculous. So let me just show you what I mean by this. Here we have two identical websites um, that are being developed. On This one on a company called BareMetal.com. And Bare Metal is a company I highly recommend. Uh, full disclosure, I'm not getting money for this. I'm not, no one pays me. I don't do web hosting. In fact, I tell my clients, go specifically to Bare Metal or another company called Site5 and go host with them. Um, I don't get money for this. Uh, but what I do get paid for is to build websites that work. So I definitely want to be careful about who I advise my clients to go hosting with. Uh, this is not somebody I would advise you ever use. Now, maybe... At one time, they were good. I don't know what's happened in the last year, but their speeds are atrocious. They are terrible. Um, and their customer service is just even worse. So here, let me show you what I mean by that. Here's the dashboard in WordPress, OK? And um, we are using, for this website, the basic hosting plan that they offer. It's a very, uh, it's, it's, the, it's the lowest one they offer. Same thing with bare metal. It's just nothing fancy. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and load the pages view up. This is DreamHost. Let's go ahead and load this up. You can see this is still spinning, so we're waiting for the pages view in WordPress to load. Okay, there it is. And let's go ahead and do the same thing over here in bare metal. Done. So that was a significant speed difference. Well, you might not think that that's a very big deal. Well, let's just go ahead and get into one of these pages to actually edit it. Actually, let's just go ahead and add a new page. So here I'm going to do it in DreamHost. Click to add new. It's still waiting. OK, now we've got a new page. And I'm going to call this uh, some page test. Uh, this is a test. Okay, wait, I'm still waiting. It's still doing something up here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and publish this. So you're seeing it's taking just a little bit more time than than you might want. And that's just a very simple update there. Oh, still waiting. Okay, now it came back. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, view the page. Very simple page, just just content, nothing more than that. Imagine if I'd had you know a photo gallery in there or something else. Um, we're still waiting. Okay, so that's DreamHost. Now let's go ahead and let's do the same test in Bare Metal. So this is a Bare Metal website, same website uh, stuff. It's a clone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. Ready to go. Okay, we'll just call this some other test and. I am testing. Let's go ahead and publish that. OK. And let's go ahead and view it. Done. Look how fast. So this is, this is the thing. If you want these kinds of speeds from DreamHost, you have to buy into their VPS, which is rather technical. And um, the cost isn't bad. It's just now you've got to get into doing things as a business owner that you, quite frankly, thought you were paying these guys to do. Um, now, DreamHost will tell you not only do you, if you want this kind of speed, not only do you have to get their 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 fancy dancy uh, VPS package, you also have to load in something called uh, WP Super Cache. And let me just show you why that's a super bad idea. 
Oops, hold on just a second here. WP Supercache, it actually does something that's very interesting, and there is a use for it. But the problem is it's not secure. Um, it can cause some, some issues with security. And with WordPress hacking the way it is, it's, it's really... It's just get a real hosting service. <laughs> Go out to Bare Metal or Site 5. The fact that these guys almost, you know, push it, and Green Geeks for sure actually requires it with something called Cloudflare as well. Um, this really causes some issues for, for people who own websites, especially non-technical people. Um, Word, uh, WP Supercache, the way it does its job and the things it does, um, there, there are some significant security risks with using it. I'll just leave it at that. You can look it up on your own, but it, it is. But the other problem is that if you've got a caching plugin run, running, what if you want to do your own backup? Let's say you have a, you know, you want to do something like Backup Buddy, which is an industry standard plugin that does a fantastic job of backing up a website, and then you can shuttle that back up to like Amazon Web Services for pennies on the megabyte, or I mean, just it's super cheap to store your backups over on on Amazon Web Services instead of you know storing them in, in the back end um, you know of your own website. So what if you wanted to use a plugin like Backup Buddy? I've got it running right here in this uh, DreamHost site. Well, if you've got WP Supercache running, it's going to step all over Backup Buddy. So you have to deactivate this this plugin, and then you can run a Backup Buddy scheduled or a Backup Buddy at all. It won't run scheduled because the caching plugin is going to going to interfere. So now you've got you know two problems. You've got a security issue with this plugin. Plus you've got now your backups are getting um, impeded. Well, that's just two bad things all in one. And don't get me started on Jetpack. That's another security nightmare just waiting to happen. But anyway, just as far as as hostess, hosting services and speed goes, you really need to understand what you're getting for your money. Um, I'm not sure about GoDaddy. I haven't bothered to get that sort of heartburn for a long time. I kind of washed my hands of them years ago uh, for other reasons that they still haven't, in my opinion, corrected. But I just want to show you something that came to me from uh, DreamHost when I complained about the speed. Uh, sorry to hear the trouble. Um, and then they go and talk about processes and things that need to be, you know, oh, you're using WordPress. It's notoriously poor at memory management. Um, really? Well, you know, I, Bare Metal doesn't seem to think that that's a problem, and, and neither does Site5. So why is it so problematic for these guys? Um, and then I don't see that protopenner.com has any WordPress cache installed. You're darn right it doesn't. I don't want to deal with cache uh, problems. Uh, caching can cause serious issues. There are ways to do it, but it's, it's tricky to do it right. And it's not usually worth it unless you've got an extremely huge amount of volume um, coming to your website. And I can guarantee you these test sites don't have that much volume. Um, oh, it looks like protopenner.com domain is the busiest site on the account. Well, yeah, probably because I was, you know, updating it and trying different things, but we're talking me and that's it. <laughs> Working on the site now and then. So why is it, you know, so busy that they have to have this terrible plugin called WP Supercache installed? Uh, it's not a terrible plugin. It's just terribly easy to get yourself in some serious security hot water with it. And I don't like it. There's just one more thing that I have a real hard time with. And that is the fact that DreamHost and Bluehost and Green Geeks and SiteGround all complain that they're not going to work with much or have much to do with something called Backup Buddy. Now, I'm, I'm here in my uh, bare metal hosted uh, Penner testing site where we're developing a website. And I want to show you what Backup Buddy is. Backup Buddy is a way to clone a website. And you can, it, it grabs the database entries, it grabs the file entries, I mean, I mean the files, and it zips them all up into a single file that is then um, can be used to move the site um, when you use the Backup Buddy recovery script. Now, this sounds technical, but the bottom line is rather than having to do a ton of stuff manually, and we're talking a ton of steps, I'm talking a ton of steps. We're talking like 50 steps you have to do manually to move a, a WordPress website. Um, you can just do it in a few wizard-based steps and reliably done, by the way, and with a flexible workflow in the wizard 
to move these sites reliably across to other to other servers. So when I'm creating a website on like a client, someday it's going to be done. It's going to be ready to go live, and they're going to say, "Okay, take it live," and I can use Backup Buddy, and I can clone this site to their live domain, whatever it is, you know, um, you know, best site in the universe dot com or whatever. Um, and voila, it's there. It's great. Uh, not with these guys. These guys won't even talk to me about Backup Buddy, and then they complain, and it'll crash sometimes if I try to use it. And they say, well, it's using too many resources. You know, it's too resource intensive. Well, why is it too resource intensive? If I'm, you know, paying not a whole lot less, by the way, than I pay for uh, a bare metal website or a site or a site five. And these guys, by the way, um, they are totally Backup Buddy compliant, and I. I Pretty much anything iThemes makes that serious web developers like myself, I mean WordPress developers like myself use, they support. And they have a live chat and they're very friendly and they're very eager to help and they don't, you know, tell you, you know, well, sorry, but it's your fault. You know, you're not doing it right the way our servers want it. It makes me very suspicious what these guys are doing. I have a suspicion. I know what they're doing and they're not talking about it, but I don't, I'll leave that for another time. So... So these guys are a letdown. Bluehost is a letdown. You know, um, GoDaddy, don't even go there. Um, it, it, the list goes on. HostGator, I mean, it, it's just Bluehost. It's just one failure after the other. Uh, Green Geeks, I actually lodged a formal complaint with the Better Business Bureau <laughs> against. Um, it, it's awful. So if you have to host with somebody, my recommendation is going to be these guys, either Site5, or these guys who I have even more experience with, we're talking since the 90s, uh, Bare Metal. Now, this is not a very attractive website, and Bare Metal uh, does that on purpose. They're not trying to be, uh, you know, Joe, average Joe hoster uh, for his, um, you know, hobby site. Uh, these guys don't outsource their tech support to India or, you know, or, or Pakistan or Taiwan or, or wherever else. These guys are there. They're, you, if you send them an email, I've actually not called them in all the years since the 90s using these guys. I've never once had to pick up the phone and call them. We handle everything through email and everything works great. And when it doesn't, they're the ones telling me usually before I even know about it. This is, in my opinion, who you should use. You should either use these guys, Site5. Um, they have hosting uh, centers in the United States and in Canada or these guys who I actually have a lot more experience with and I really like, but they're in Canada. But as you can see, that doesn't really matter. The speed difference, it's faster with bare metal than it is with someone hosted right here in the United States um, and even in the same state. So that's my, my spiel on hosting, things to watch out for, people to stay away from and why. I hope this has been very helpful.